everyone, I was going about my day there and I just had these thoughts, these feelings of warmth and freedom come over me because I was thinking that I think I know what the Buddha means. Um, when he talked about desire and how to, to become free from desires, I think I know what he means and it's not that he wanted us to stop wanting things or like I want this or I want that, like I want more peace, like I want I want more food, I want a bigger home, I want a car, I want a bicycle, I want to go to the park. It's not that he didn't want, he, did, he wants us to take away those, our, our wants and our desires, but I believe now what he wanted was to, to let go, to be more content in life. And that's what I feel in my life because I was just thinking in the kitchen there as I was chopping some onions and stuff for soup I was just thinking that I don't have everything I, ha I want in life but I'm pretty happy <laughs> I've let go, of I've surrendered and I go about my business trying to manifest my dreams and some people will nitpick at the word trying but that's that's even not true it can be but, but it can it doesn't have to be true that saying trying means you're gonna fail I'll, like instead of saying I'll, I'll, I'll go do this I'll, I'll try to do this you're setting yourself up for failure but it doesn't have to be that case that's like nitty grittiness sometimes it's true sometimes it's not true so I do I do manifest my dreams and I try obviously I go about my business I put in the energy the effort the attention the constant the focus etc that's what I mean by trying and but at the end of the day if you want a, a, tr a true life of freedom you have to live a life of non-attachment to the results and it's even better if you trust in the universe that you're given what you need and you're being guided and everything it's all okay so to let go and to settle into your life and appreciation is what I'd say the most appreciate to love, to laugh, to live from your highest self, guys. For fuck's sake. Not all this, like, stupid stuff. <laughs> Just being a little bit playful. Not all this silly, stupid stuff, like the modern, shallow stuff. Yeah, if you want to go ahead, it's part of so many of our, my life journey as well. But I'm just saying, when you go more, if you want to be away from the suffering and this, the games and the controlling and the fear and the nonsense and the confusion and... and and all that stuff, then, then, then tune into who you truly are, not who you're trying to please other people to be or pretend to be. Go out there and be yourself and let go of your attached desires. And find contentment in life for what you have instead of feeling empty or horrible what you're missing. This can be if you're missing a relationship or if you're in a, a stinky relationship, which <laughs> which I've been in with my like, soulmate and it's part of the big challenges and moving us to the next level. You need to know when to let go sometimes and sometimes you need to know when you need to expand and grow and learn, adapt to take, to take it to the next level. <sighs> so, yeah. So be content and um, manifest your dreams from contentment and the abundance, consciousness, the energy of having enough and feeling grateful instead of feeling lack and miserable. So this can apply to relationships as I was saying or it could apply to your health. Uh, like I lost all of my health um, from, from a jumping jack being acrobatic, fit as a fiddle, marathon runner guy. To just a puddle on the floor, like a mess. Like it's just terrible, you know. Really bad, unhealthy, sick. <laughs> so I learned patience and to let go. Then, but lately I've deepened in feeling happy in life. Quiet sense of happiness and there's power in being simple instead of trying to like know it all. Like, cause lots of people who are teaching on the internet will say the Buddha meant this, the Buddha meant that but then I've seen them even change their mind about what they thought so they didn't know it 
at the beginning. It was just their opinion because they changed their mind then. So I'm just saying it's my guess and opinion probably that that's what the Buddha meant. Um, so rather than me trying to be like this big know-all, important, like look at me, I know everything. There's power in being small. See, life is all about two different spectrums. We're massive. We're gods. We are cre we're cre divine creatures. We're huge. <laughs> But at the same time as a human, it's good just to sometimes be small and inconspicuous and quiet and unassuming, yeah, unassuming instead of thinking you're better than other people and trying to attract attention for yourself. And as I was saying, there's like, there's always two ways or much many ways. It's okay to attract attention if you feel like it. It's not wrong. I am a people's person. I I say, I do what some people say, looking for attention, and some everyone does sometimes. But yeah, I like to play with people. I like to have fun and interact and engage. Sometimes, not all the time. So it's okay. And there's always different sides to every kind. And sometimes you might get up and teach. I might give a talk at a at a retreat or a group or whatever. But generally, it's not like I'm trying to say, "Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm amazing." Like or well, I am amazing, but I'm like, so are you, but it's not like I'm trying to say I'm better, I'm amazinger than you. It's not like to inflate your ego. So I want to say finally in this message to say, allow yourself to be unassuming and unpretentious. I'm not trying to get a, we a weird sort of like false type of sense of attention on yourself as if you know everything or you're the big guy in town or the big girl in town, you know the macho alpha one just yeah so love you all and take care and have a good day okay and i'd love to hear from you if you if you feel like if you're in the mood to send me a, a message or a comment below just to connect it's nice to connect you know i make these videos to connect and just to help other people out so send me some hugs and love and kisses and i'll send oh, I, i'm sending you some love kisses and hugs back <laughs> today so i'll see you in the next video hopefully and uh have a good day for now and i hope this helps you in your life and i care about you and your life and life is awesome and i know it can be hard sometimes we all go through these things so keep your head high and um, look for the solutions instead of focusing on the problems and trust pray and focus on appreciation and what you have and go out there and have some fun and play and laugh every day is so important try and laugh Make yourself laugh, do fake laughs, watch comedy, humour, think about stuff that's funny. Think about the city sides and situations, laugh at life. And cry of course, it's let out your emotions. Um, be kind and loving, it feels so good to be kind and loving. Don't be afraid to be you, to be real or genuine. And look after your health and get out there and do some exercise and fresh air and nature. And healthy diet and one rest and sleep look after your rest and sleep <laughs> i forget there's something else in mind <laughs> hug 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 i swear to god it'll make you so happier in life go out there and hug a few people people you know or yesterday i hugged three strangers i met in the park <laughs> it made me so happy it's like one of my highlights of the day <laughs> okay take care now and god bless to you watching my See ya.